boo, that'll frighten you. I long to hear your cries. You won't survive the tale that I've so coolishly devised. <laughs> Dog and haunted, he's undaunted, tales from the crypt. <laughs> Greetings, creeps. Welcome to the theater of the mind, a place where you and only you can create pictures to your ghoulish heart's content, not us. We will only supply the words. And if you should find the things we say too disgusting, too repulsive, and totally gross, it'll make me very happy. <laughs> By the way, kiddies, don't you just hate trying to hail a cab? It's dreadful, or should I say, deadful. Fortunately, I can always count on a passing hearse to pick me up. I'm the kind of guy. <laughs> anyway, Fright Fiends, you're about to take a one-way ride up a dead-end street that crashes head-on into horror. Buckle up, boils and ghouls, and put on your warmest shroud. And get ready for the blood-curdling, chilling offering I call Fair Tonight with increasing clottiness. <laughs> Hello, Mother. It's me, Egbert. I've brought you some fresh flowers. Crocuses. Your favorite. I have to go away, Mother. I found out where they've all gone. If I'm right, then soon it will be all over. Don't worry about me, Mother. I'll be all right. Oh, Mother. I'm so sorry. You know how sorry I am. But it's... It's better this way. Soon... You'll be able to rest. Goodbye, Mother. Enjoy... The crocuses. I must be getting the hinges of that trunk oiled. Oh, my cab wouldn't start, Ahmed. Sabastain wants to see you. Great. Hey, Maliswari. Coming, Mr. Sabastain. Maliswari, you have to take Gravesmore tonight. Again? It's the rotation, you know that. Yeah, but this is the second time in two weeks Yeah, that... yeah, yeah, but Ling called in sick, so you got a cover. Yeah, but there's no one in that neighborhood but homeless people and drug dealers. Even the police don't like to go there. That's why you cabbies are a breed apart. And what about the murders around there, huh? They've not even caught that maniac yet. Look, Baya, you requested the night shift, right? And I haven't asked about your green card, right? But, uh... Gravesmore, that's it. Okay, okay. But one of these days we cabbies will unionize, and then you- Hey, Baya! So you got Gravesmore. The second time in two weeks, Ahmed. You better watch out, right, Vito? <laughs> yeah, he better watch out, Ahmed, or the vampire will get him. <laughs> vampire? What vampire? Didn't you hear the latest? Some scientist guy named, um... Oh, oh yeah, um, Flegel. That's right, Flegel. Flegel. Yeah, He's yeah. got the theory that the murders around there are the work of a vampire. Uh, the police, they believe him. <laughs> they think he's a nut. You know, but you never can tell. Ooh. Hey, Baya, if the vampire drinks your blood, 
He better like the taste of curry. <laughs> Come on, Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> See you, vampire. Yeah, and if a vampire bites you, he better like the taste of tomato sauce. Vampires. <laughs> what next? Oh, grand night for a murder, but not for a poor cab driver looking for a fare. I need little music. Why do they put a stoplight here? Oh! Hey, pal, roll down your window. Hey, what, what, the, what, the, what the hell do you think you're doing, jumping out in the dark like that? Hey man, how can you see with a windshield that filthy? Let me clean it for no, you. No, 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 you will please not put that squeegee on my windshield. I will not pay you. That's okay, man. I just want to look busy, so if a cop comes along, he won't be looking for the drug buy going on across the street. What was that? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Wait! Wait! Oh, damn it to hell. Why am I doing this? Tell me why I'm doing this. There she is, in that alley. Lady! 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 Lady, are you okay? She's dead. You! Oh. Stand back from that woman. Oh, why, why is everybody jumping out of the dark all the time? Get over there! Face that wall. Yes, yes, yes the, the wall I'm facing. Dead. That's right, mister. She, she's dead. Uh, I am very careful to make sure that she is completely... Quiet! Uh, oh, do not hurt me, mister. Did you do this? Me? Me? No, no, no. I am driving my cab, minding my own business, when I hear a scream. So right away, I just... Driving a cab? Here? Yeah. In Gravesmoor. Well, this is where they assign me. Turn around! Oh, face oh. me! Yes, yes, I am turning. I am facing. See? E. What? Say. E. I am not understanding. For what am I saying? Say! Oh, e. No blood. No. You didn't do this. Stop it! Why, why, why is it that I must say e? I was checking your teeth to see if you were one of them. One of them? One of whom then? A vampire. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not a vampire. Hand me my bag over there. Oh, oh certainly. <laughs> What do you mean, a vampire? Why would you think I was a vampire? Because this woman was killed by a vampire. Oh, that makes sense. And here I am, so of course... Ah, uh, here it is. Is there anyone around? I don't see anybody. What, what is that? A wooden stake. And what is that for what, please? That... Is for this! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh, oh. Quiet! No, she won't become one of them. You just drove that pointy sharp stick through that lady's chest with your bare hands! It saves time fumbling for a hammer. In my line of work, time is of the essence. You drive pointy sharp sticks into dead bodies for a living? I am Dr. Egbert Flegel. World famous mythologist and vampire hunter. Flegel? Oh, I heard about you. Mm. I must make a note of this. Where's my recorder? Uh. <clears throat> October 12th, 9 10 p.m. Just after sunset, victim found corner of 37th Street and Rose Avenue in the Gravesmore section. Staked. You say you're a cab driver? Take me back to my hotel. Uh, but shouldn't we wait for the police? The police? Ooh. The police are idiots. I told them what was happening, but they won't listen. They won't even investigate this area. 
They think I'm crazy. Me, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Ah, but I was here, wasn't I? I knew, I knew that there would be another killing, didn't I? Crazy, huh? Well, when this city becomes a gory charnel house of terror, overrun with demonic ghouls sucking the life's blood of innocent women and children, we'll see who's crazy then. <laughs> I suppose that is true. Let me have my bag back. What's your name? Uh, me? Uh, Baya. Uh, Baya Baniswati. Well, Mr. Baniswati, I tell you, there is something happening here. Something big. Something... Evil. Remember you heard it from me, Dr. Egbert Flegel. Now, come on. Oh, no, I, I don't think so. What? Uh, I, no, I, I do not think it is safe being around you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bonaswati, the safest place you could be is with me. Certainly safer than being out here alone with the vampires. <laughs> what hotel are you at? Vampires are the worst sort of evil in the world, Mr. Baniswati. They are subversive. They spread around the world, infecting everyone with their hellish lifestyle. They move into an area and sap the vitality out of the populace, one drop of blood at a time. They are truly a red menace. Uh, no, that is not good. I've been monitoring the level of vampiric activity throughout the country, and I've never seen this level of activity in a major urban center before. There seems to be a trend, a migration to this city. Listen, uh, Dr. Fliegel, I come from a small village in northern India. I love my village. But there, the people are very poor and very ignorant. They have superstitions just like this of the vampire. I come to America to escape such foolishness. America is the land of science, I think. This is science, Mr. Baniswari. Vampires are governed by immutable scientific laws. They cannot move during the daytime, but must sleep on a layer of their native soil. Anyone killed by a vampire becomes one. They can only be destroyed in one of three ways. A stake through the heart, decapitation, and fire. Yes, yes, I know, I know. In my village, the old women used to tell stories of a vampire-like creature called the Brahma Purusha, who is not biting the necks of his victims, but he is drinking their blood from their own hollowed-out skulls. Can you believe it? And the Brahma Purusha can only be killed with a golden dagger. Now, who carries a golden dagger around in a poor village? <laughs> no, 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 no. I come to America because it is the land of reason, not fairy tales. I tell you, this is no fairy tale. Say, are you sure this is the way to the hotel? Do you think you know this city better than me? No, no, but... Now, this is a shortcut that only Baya Baniswati knows. It will get you there five minutes faster than miss the bad traffic in the center of town. I am a very good driver, you bet. I come to America because I hear it is the land of opportunity. But it is not. And do you know why? Because there is too much competition. Too much competition. It will kill you. You take it from me. Mr. Baraswani, turn the radio off. What? Turn it off! Please. Mr. Baraswani, how well do you know this city? Dr. Flegel, nobody knows this city better than me. Bhaya Baraswani. Then, Mr. Baraswani, you said this was the land of opportunity? Well, I'm going to give you the opportunity to be a hero. A hero? Me? How do I be a hero? By helping me rid the city of the vampires. No, I don't think so. Listen, you've got to help me. I'm convinced that this city is on the verge of a plague of evil, the likes of which the world has never seen. I must find the source of this plague. You know every inch of this city. Between us, we can save the lives of everyone here. <laughs> no, no, it's too dangerous. You must, you must. No, no, I can't. I won't be stopped, do you hear me? Not by an insignificant little... Mr. Baraswari. Baya. What is it? <laughs> Baya. Do you love America? Do you love your country? Yes, I do. I do love it. Well, by helping me, you will be striking a blow for the American way of life. Well, I... For freedom and democracy. Well, I... And for cab drivers everywhere. Well, I... And I promise you, 
But you will be in no danger. Really? Well, very little. Well, y you say we will get rid of the vampires? Yes. And I will be a hero? Yes. And we will get rid of all the vampires? Yes. Well... Please. Please, Baya. Well... Very well. For America. And the cab drivers. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm keeping the meter running. Waitress, another refill. Are you gonna be long? I wanna close up. Bring me the check. Now, Baya, look at this map. We're here, in this coffee shop at the edge of the Gravesmore section of town. The victims were found here. 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 And the one tonight, here. All within this neighborhood. Obviously, the vampire... or vampires are based somewhere in this vicinity. The question is where? And what is it you want from me? There are a lot of ruined, burned-out buildings in this area. But the vampire needs shelter from the sun. He needs a basement or, uh, or a room with covered windows. Well, in this area here, most of the buildings are intact. And right over here is an old clubhouse. Clubhouse? Political clubhouse. Young socialists, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Here's your check. Let's go. Now? Now! But if, if vampires cannot go out in the daytime, shouldn't we be waiting until the morning? There may not be time. I'm telling you, something strange is going on. Oh, yeah, you mean something strange apart from the vampires? Listen to me. I've devoted my entire life to hunting these devilish monsters ever since my... For many years. I've studied them, tracked them, put myself into their shoes. I learned to think like a vampire. I learned... To be a vampire! Now you are frightening me. And I'm telling you, I feel in my soul that they are about to unleash hell on Earth if they are not stopped immediately. Do you hear me? Hell on Earth! Now come on! That's it! I'm going to be charging you double the meter! You will be telling me, please, Doctor, what we are driving around this godforsaken area looking for? Something, uh, anything that will give us a clue as to where the vampires are hiding. Like what, for example? Like that. Uh, take this left. Oh, here we go again. We are in time. He is still living. Thank God you came along. It is the squeegee man from earlier tonight. Look at his neck, Doctor. What happened, son? I was just standing around with my squeegee. I was about to call it a night when this woman came up to me. And all of a sudden, she grabbed me. I felt this pain. Then I don't know. I must have screamed. Whoa, man. I'm kind of dizzy. What happened to the woman? She must have run off when she heard you coming. That way. Over there, towards the building. Doctor, do you think... You a doctor? Whoa. I'm really lightheaded. Like I'm on some real good squiff. Let me look at you, son. Hmm. What's your name, son? They call me Wiper. Well, Wiper, I think I can help you out. Buy my bag. Just close your eyes, Wiper. Okay. Wow, like I'm flying. Now, this might sting for a second. Cool, dog. I'm cool. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! You just shoved that pointy chopstick through his chest! What the hell are you doing? He was not dead! Look here. And his teeth. They're fangs. Where's my recorder? October 12th, 10.37 p.m. <clears throat> Victim found, corner of 37th Street and Dwight Alley. 
Not dead, but in the midst of transformation. Staked. Apparently, it is possible for a vampire to remove enough blood from a victim to infect without killing. A topic for further research. That doorway may lead to the vampire's lair. You're not going in there, are you? No. Oh, good. We are. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I need another set of eyes. I need a witness. No, no, thank you. I am driving a cab, not hunting a vampire. Would you rather stay out here? All by yourself. I tell you what I would rather. I would rather get into my cab and get the hell out of here because I would rather not end up with the tooth marks on my neck and a great pointy sharp stick in my chest. I can't protect you if you don't stay with me. Then why should I not just drive off back to where it is safe? And leave me here? Alone? I, I don't think you would do that, Paya. Hmm? What if there is trouble? At the first sign of trouble, you get out. But I, I want you to do something for me first. What is that? Here. These micro cassettes contain all of my notes on this case. If anything happens to me, I want these notes to be given to the media. These tapes must be kept safe. Oh, give it to me. Keep watch. I will lock it in the trunk of my cab. <coughs> must be getting that trunk hinge oiled. There. All safe and snug. Good. Now take this flashlight and follow me. Who's there? Want a refill? It's the lady from the coffee shop. Because I do. <sighs> oh, she's a vampire. Oh, the bat. Maya. Get it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not good with pointy sharp sticks. There's, there's a hatchet in the bag. Chop her head off! Oh, hurry, oh, 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 oh. Maya! Oh, here's the hatchet! Oh, oh, oh here it goes! That's enough! Oh. You did it! Oh. Stop now! I did it! Uh, oh. Yes, yes. How was I? Magnificent! Oh. A natural vampire killer! Will you teach me that trick with a pointy sharp stick? Later. Now, pick up the bag and let's go on. But uh, why? Uh, she, the, the, the vampire is dead. Haven't I told you? There are more than one. I've been tracking them. Oh, no. Listen, Baya. You just made your first kill. How do you feel? Exhausted. And what else? Isn't your heart pounding? Isn't your blood up? Uh, it, it was somewhat satisfying. The thrill of the hunt, Baya. You don't want to stop now, do you? Well... Good man! Now, come on. But be careful. They may have heard us. Look. 
Look at all the junk. This place is a real fire trap. Uh, that may be why it was condemned. My goodness, we are walking a long way. What's that smell? An old gas main must run underneath this building. What's that? An old American flag. This must be that political clubhouse. Stop! What? Shh! Over there. Behind that door. Come on. Quietly. Keep watch. I'm going to look inside the door. What do you see? A large meeting room. Scores of... Them. One of them is at the podium. America is the land of opportunity. And aren't you tired of fighting each other over every drop of blood to come your way? Yeah. For centuries, each of us has hunted alone. And we barely survived into the new millennium. I've called you all to gather here, in this city from all across the country to propose a new world order, a collective of vampires working together through a centralized organization. We can harvest the veins of the living and live off the blood of the land. Oh my God, the vampires, they are forming a union. Hasn't this been tried before? Yeah. Many times, many times, it's true. But then we were afraid to come out in the open as vampires. We tried to take over through human fronts like Nero, Hitler, Stalin, Pat Robertson. Now we will unite and take our rightful place as vampires. It sounds like socialism to me. My friend, don't fool yourself. The days of fang and claw individualism are at an end. We all suck together, or we all suck, period! If they organize into a cohesive unit, no one will ever be able to stop them. If it isn't Dr. Egbert Flegel. So glad you could attend our little rally. We've all followed your career with great interest. As I have followed yours, you foul hellhounds! We will now spread throughout the city and colonize. And then the next city, and the next, and the next. The domino effect. And soon, the world will be ours! Not if I stop you! And you shall be the first to join our party. I will recruit you personally, Doctor. The way I recruited your mother. No! Get them! Bastards! Doctor, what do we do? Quick, fire! Get me that flagpole. Jam it in this door. It's the only way out of that room. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, this will not be holding them long. Gather up all that debris and paper. Place it next to the door. Yes, yes, I am gathering. I am placing. Now, Baya, stand back. Fight, match, fight. There. Burn in hell, mother. You are a man. Doctor, the old gas pipe. We have to land. Come on, doctor. Let's just wait here until the excitement dies down. Uh, where's my recorder? <clears throat> October 12th, 12.27 a.m. Vampire's lair discovered and incinerated. No apparent survivors. Although the next few days will tell, I am confident that the danger is over. And my mother can now rest in peace. Oh, oh, before I forget, Baya, 
Get me my tapes out of your trunk. Oh, here are my keys, Doctor. Help yourself. Thanks. There we are. What's this? What is what, Doctor? <laughs> There's a layer of dirt in the bottom of your trunk. Oh, yeah. A souvenir from my village in India. But what? <laughs> what? But, but what is it doing in your trunk? Because that is where I sleep. Baya? Uh, you? You are... No! No! <laughs> it's not true! You, you, you can't be! I mean, you, you have no fangs! Oh, Doctor! Why are you not taking notes? Uh, give me your recorder. I will do it for you. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> the Brahma Purusha is a vampire-like creature who is not needing fangs, as he is not biting the necks of his victims, but is drinking their blood from their own hollowed-out skulls. You see, Doctor, this way the Brahma Purusha avoids creating other Brahma Purushas. My bag! My bag! There! Ah! Oh, Doctor, another note you forgot to take. <clears throat> the Brahma Purusha can only be killed with a golden dagger. Are you having a golden dagger in your possession? No. Well, most unfortunate. Oh, my God. Let me out. Oh, oh, do not be going so soon. Let me go. Dr. Flegel, let me just be saying, as a cabbie, that you were a very delightful fair, and now you are going to be a very delicious fair. No, no, don't. Don't do... Ah, pull off the head. Ah, pull off the skull. Let's scoop out the brains! Oh, empty the veins! <laughs> ah, I was very lucky to be making your acquaintance, Dr. Flegel. You did me a most marvelous favor. Once again, America is the land of opportunity. As I said, too much competition. It will kill you, whether you are a cabbie or a vampire. <laughs> Okay, kiddies, the ride is over. Everybody out! Don't forget to take all your belongings, especially your vital organs. <laughs> Good thing for Bayer, his hack license was current. Unfortunately for Dr. Flegel, he never noticed his birth certificate had an expiration date. <laughs> Well, Fright Fiends, it's deady by time for the old Crypt Keeper. <clears throat> now I lay me down to sleep. I pray by morning I'm still a creep. And when I wake, it's breakfast time with a bowl full of bugs in goopy slime. <laughs> Yum. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> Pleasant screams! <laughs> Tales from the Crypt, Fair Tonight, followed by increasing clottiness, was written by Andrew Jaffe, adapted from the story in the EC comic book Tales from the Crypt, originally published by William M. Gaines. Fair Tonight, followed by Increasing Clottiness, featured Keith David as Dr. Egbert Flegel, Asif Manvi as Baya, Glenn Zarr as Wiper, Andrew Jaffe as the Vampire Union Leader, George Zarr as Vito, Leah Applebaum as Matilda the Waitress, and John Kassir as the Crypt Keeper. Fair Tonight, followed by Increasing Clottiness, was produced and directed by George Zarr, associate producer Larissa James, sound engineering by Leonard Hospidor, sound design by David Shin and Paul Goodrich, additional Crypt Keeper material by Jack Wool. Tales from the Crypt series theme composed by Danny Elfman with lyrics by Jack Wool. 
theme arranged and performed by Ohad Talmor, series story editor Tony Daniel, series announcer Alyssa Honeycutt. Executive producers Jack Wool, Brian Smith, Richard Donner, David Geiler, Walter Hill, Joel Silver, and Robert Zemeckis. The crypt is closed.